Well, Kamala has gone to the border, her first time as VP. So I sit there and went to go see the reporter's questions. Today and, and everything that we will all learn and explore together. Thank we have time for about one question. How did you decide that right now? now was the right time to make your first trip to the border? Well, it's not my first trip. I've been to the border many times. I'm the person in charge of the response. So he's asked a tough question, which is what everybody wants to know. How come you decided now to come to the border, like right after Trump? Well, it's not my first time. She puts her finger up. That's her authoritarian finger has come up. You stop talking. That's a no-no. The stress in the face comes in. The head is bobbing up and down ridiculously to shut him up so that she can put out her version. So the the important aspect. And we have the uh uh-uh song, but without the uh uh-uh. And her hands are coming up real high to her face as she tries to think her way out of this. Of this visit is leading this visit after the work that we did in Guatemala and Mexico. And she's come up with her narrative, quite impressed with her ability to think that lie out quickly. Oh, yeah. And we just got done with Biden. You saw that video. And now we're seeing this happening. It's really looking like the press isn't worshiping them anymore. They're getting questions that they're not used to. It's not about what flavor ice cream you want or how good you look in your suit. These are anti wokean questions, and it is really stressing them out. It's like the concept, you walk around, everyone fawns over you, and then you come out and someone gives you a dirty look when you're not used to it. You stress on that a hell of a lot more because you're not used to any kind of pushback. Because as I've long said, I said back in March I was going to come to the border, so this is not a new plan. But the reality of it is that we have to deal with causes and we have to deal with the effects. So being in Guatemala, being in Mexico, talking with Mexico as a partner, frankly, on the issue, was about addressing the causes. And then coming to the border at the, at the advice and, the, and actually the, the invitation of the congresswoman uh, is about looking at the effects of what we have seen happening in Central America. And um, so I'm glad to be here. It was always the plan to come here. And I think so as you're starting to see, as she continues on with this brigade, this over-explanation, she continues to over-explain. It's become actually so uncomfortable. She keeps looking down to get away from the reporters. She's angled her body away from the reporters because she's over-explaining. She's trying to get that fawnism back. Oh, pet me, love me. I'm the female VP. That's a lack of control. That's the fracturing of the system. If you'd like to learn more about analysing body language, there is a video course available on Mandy's website for Gold subscribers, where Mandy teaches more about her techniques of deception detection. There's also other content such as the crime series and interesting mind series available to both Gold and Silver subscribers. If you like it, please share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I would like to thank the sponsor of this video, Firo. Firo is one of the few cryptocurrency projects that I respect. And like most other cryptocurrencies, Firo is focused on safeguarding your financial privacy without compromising on trustlessness, which means no third parties are required and transactions are private by default. Firo also has an exciting roadmap to look forward to. Features such as Instant Send, where payments can both be sent and confirmed within seconds, There's also Elysium, which adds tokenization functionality similar to Ethereum, but it also enables these assets to enjoy Firo's privacy technology. There's many more things on the roadmap, and if you'd like to learn more, head over to firo.org.